Today we're going to show you a little bit of what's been going on at the church. It's going to be our new shop and we've been doing a ton of landscaping outside including putting the garden in. We're going to show you a little bit of that. And we've got a couple of chairs that we use the new cottage colors on. And we're going to show you how we paint those. We're going to leave them outside for a while and see how that turns out. We're only going to be using one color, no sealer, and we're not distressing. I know you're shocked. I painted these chairs about a year ago with DIY little black dress. I never sealed them, which is why the paint comes off. They've been sitting outside and no one's sits in them because when you do you get black on your bum. So we decided to use them over at the church so we have some place to rest after we've been in the garden or with the animals and we're going to be using the new cottage colors by Jamie Ray Vintage and we're using vintage mint because I think it's going to be really pretty on these hotel clamshell chairs I think that's what they're called. <laughs> Clearly I wasn't ready to actually deal with putting a sealer on so I'm thinking because this is a one-step paint Technically, it's supposed to be made to go outdoors, so we're gonna try it out and let you know in a few months how it holds up. Are we gonna have to do two coats, or are you thinking just one? I think we're gonna do two coats, even though we're getting pretty good coverage with one, so that way we can make sure we get extra protection, because it does have the built-in top coat, and then that way I don't have to put anything else on it. So you're planning on putting these on the back porch, not the garden area? Um, well, there's nowhere to really put them in the garden area right now. If you clear off all that wood, I could put them over behind the shed, but there's no shade. There is no shade over there. That's true. That's a good, good call on putting them in the garden area. It's going to take a pint to get two coats of coverage on both of these. Yep. There's quite a bit of surface area on these if you paint front and back. Yeah. However, we are not going to be painting the bottom. I am not painting underneath now. It's not rusty. Um, it's a little rusty. If there's any leftover, we should do a single coat for protection. This is one coat on there over that little black dress. We got pretty good coverage, but we're gonna need to do a second coat. It's drying to a satin sheen on here. It's got a little bit of shine on it, but not super shiny and slick. So this is the original color paint on the bottom. And we're painting the bottom. I can't believe you're painting the bottom. Well, it's rusty. And I'm not claiming that this is gonna stop rust, guys, because I legit don't know. But I do know that when you paint stuff, no matter what paint you use, it generally will help out, keep water off of it. So that will help prevent further deterioration. That's why I'm painting the bottom. I'm only gonna do probably one coat, we'll see. We'll see. Just enough to keep the moisture off of it. Yeah. I'm using a Klingon R20. The Klingon brushes lay paint down super nice and flat. So if you're using the new cottage colors, it's a really good companion because the cottage colors is self-leveling. So it's just gonna give you an even smoother paint finish in the end. To buy the paint products you see us using today, visit jamierayvintage.com. Cottage Colors is made by DIY Paint, collaborated with Jamie Ray Vintage. It's all natural with a built-in top coat. It's self-leveling with no VOC. Second coat going on. I think we're gonna get all the coverage we need with two coats over this rust and the little black dress. It wasn't super bad rusty because we'd already painted them before with the DIY paint, but it was starting to come through that and it worn off from sitting out in the snow and the rain for a year. That year and never and being sealed. Knows. Yeah, it never got sealed. And this has a built-in sealer, so fingers crossed. This is our experiment, our test. We'll see how this does. We're gonna go set them back outside over at the new shop and see what happens over the next year or so. I will always love mint. Remember when we used to paint whole pianos this color? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, this is a little toned back. Once it dries, it's greener. So we found these peonies. For sure there's three. We're gonna split them up. Hopefully we can save them. There's also a huge lavender bush there that we're gonna cut down, dig out, and transplant into that planter that I dug out. I don't know if you remember that video. And then the peonies are gonna go along here. And you know what we uncovered? We uncovered sprinkler heads. Wait, where is it? It's like over, there it, is. there it is. And it works. <laughs> it's very exciting when you find irrigation. I found about 30 sprinkler heads and these are the first ones that have actually been hooked to water. <laughs> <laughs> so we're getting stuff done, trying to make use of what we got. Farmer's Ebb here. 
Is that how you're supposed to plant peonies? I have no idea. I filled the uh, hole with water just like I do on a tree and now I'm gonna pack the dirt down in around it. Sounds like a plan. Hi baby hot and chewy. Have you missed your birds? Then we got the little guys over there. Those are the new Americanas, the Easter Eggers. These guys here have been in kind of a small little pen, getting big in the garage till it got warm enough. And they are super excited to be outside. They're a little skittish. It'll take them a while to warm up. And they got nine of these and eight of Jamie's silkies. Are the Americanas yours? I, they're all mine. I have to take care of them. I feel like this yard is very much one square at a time. We've got the back pretty well under control. Now we're dealing with a side yard that you wouldn't think was important, but see all these windows here? Our church looks out into them, so we got to make sure this is pretty. Otherwise, it's not going to be very aesthetic. Is that the word aesthetic? There's a sidewalk under that dirt. Zeb's like an archeologist. Thanks for watching today's video. If you're interested in buying the paint and products used, visit jamierayvintage.com. If you have any questions about cottage colors, be sure to ask them below. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.